What's up guys, Franco Mobile Homes here. Today we are gonna talk about factors you need to consider when moving your mobile home. This is where we show you the ins and outs and everything there is to know about mobile homes. It is truly our mission to transform lives through mobile homes. So thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. So we always get this question a lot and if you think you can simply hitch up your home to a pickup and hit the road, you might have a lot more that you have to worry about. So let's talk a little bit about this because there's a, there's a lot of big factors when it comes to moving a mobile home that people really don't think about. So whether your mobile home is a single wide, a double wide, or a triple wide, there is a teardown process that has to be done before we can even talk about getting the delivery side of things done. So if you imagine if there's a mobile home that's already set up, you'd have to remove the skirting, you'd have to disconnect all the utilities, you'd have to split up the median line of the home if it's a double or triple wide, which takes a lot of labor and a lot of time. So many times, days or even weeks to do so. There's also the axle and wheel hookup. There's also removing the tie down system to these homes. If you're in California, there's a very heavy tie down requirement that needs to be done and all of that has to be removed before they can even install the axles and wheels. So by then, after you do the teardown, you hire a truck company that would help you transport the home to the delivery location that you're planning on doing this. Towing is the best short distance moves while trailering is for long distance moves. So the two methods are very similar. However, the trailer method is able to carry a very heavy load for longer periods of time. So what are things that you need to move your mobile home? You'll need to get a moving permit and this is necessary. These are basically necessary documents that are certificates from the county or the state, usually the county treasurer that states that there are no unpaid or overdue taxes on this home because they wanna make sure that you have all of this stuff taken care of before you go missing with a mobile home or before you go moving a mobile home. So there's a lot of paperwork that's required to validate that you own the home before you can even start moving it. You'll also need professional help from a very reliable moving company to walk you through whether you need permits with the freeway or whoever handles the roadways of your state. So you'll really need to be up to code on those things mentioned. Of course, you probably already know this, but you wanna make sure that you know that where you're bringing it to, that you actually are allowed to bring that home to that location before even starting this process. So that's a big one to consider because if you're not allowed to move it there, then why would you spend all this money to move it there and then learn that you can't have that mobile home there later down the line? Especially with the older homes, 1970 or pre-1976, it's tough to get a lot of these homes to be put on a farmland or there are counties that really don't even allow you to put these older homes in their county. So do check with your county or your construction or ask your, your delivery company to find these permits to make sure that you can move these before even considering doing a move. I always recommend hiring a professional moving service that is very familiar with moving mobile homes. If you have questions on that, we're happy to give suggestions. You can text us anytime. Also, if you ever have any questions about mobile homes, text us as well. If you like our channel, please subscribe. It would help us out. And thanks for watching Franco Mobile Homes. Take care, bye.